What is going on everybody, Nazdarachi coming back at you again today with another video for Dragon Ball Legends and we have some new information coming. Of course, the reset started at 9pm. I actually recorded another video right before this one, but it's likely going to come out after this video since this information is a little bit more time sensitive. So basically in this video we are going to cover everything that we have data mined for the update so far and there is some interesting information indeed you guys nothing super brand new but still some really cool stuff to to check out so let's gonna hop right into it here and try and keep this one as quick as possible because i might have two videos uploading here this evening so bringing up the interwebs here well actually let's start with discord because discord is where everything's kind of compiled into one spot so let's just bring this up on screen here real quick and I'll kind of dictate some of this stuff to you guys because it might be kind of small, but Renzi started posting about the update. We have a 590 days celebration going on in the game and the numbers five and the numbers nine in Japanese basically spell out Goku. So that's why it's a Goku celebration. So we are seeing the return of the Goku Everyday Banner. 590th day release celebration, of course, that's gonna be different depending on whether you're on Android or iOS, so your numbers might be off, but this is just kind of what they're going with here, you guys. For the official launch date, I believe on iOS, this is the accurate number. So, that's cool right there. We're gonna check out this banner in a second, so we'll get to that. We're just gonna mow through everything real quick. There's also going to be another Challenge Rush stage coming. It's gonna be Challenge Rush Goku, and the stages basically follow a progression of Goku throughout the series, starting from Dragon Ball, through Z, through Super, and then GT Last. It's kind of interesting. We'll check that out again in a minute. There's some either equipments or stage arts going on right here. And that's pretty much it in terms of the new stuff going on for the date. Now again, I stress to use the word new, because the only thing really new out of all that is the challenge rush. But we also see down here, a new piece of equipment that's got Demon King Piccolo on it. And then I don't know if you guys can read this or not, but it says the Gotenks Legends Road is coming back. As well, the Ginyu Goku Rising Battle is coming back. So if you guys need any stuff going on there, I mean, we could all use the Gotenks, I guess, leveled up a little bit, make him a little better. But yeah, that's going to be the recycle content that's coming back. And from there, we can hop over to the internet and actually check out the Goku banner and the Challenge Rush event itself. So... We'll start, I guess, with the Challenge Rush event really quickly, because it's not too hard to get through. It's going to be 10 stages. I bet you it's going to be a similar format to the one that just left, where it's that, you know, vertical line, kind of the more Doken-esque map situation going on. I have a feeling it's going to be like that. And all the enemies seem to be at level 5,000, but with insane amounts of health. And similarly to before, the challenges are going to require you to use different team builds and of course that means multiple clears of each stage to get all the challenges done. It seems like they come with tickets for the Goku banner as well. So that's interesting to know right there also. And as you go through each challenge, basically as you can see here, it starts with Kid Goku from Dragon Ball, then EX Goku from early DBZ, Again, you got to do two separate teams to get everything done. You get a ticket. There's probably going to be a title lock behind this as well. Then it goes to KO Ken Goku. Similar story here. Hybrid Saiyan, Saiyan Saga Z. So different team builds. Again, it's very similar. Kind of explain it from here. It goes to Super Saiyan Goku. 15 million health though. Check out their health. Actually, I've been doing that. 20 million health on KO Ken Goku. You got 15 million health, 20 million, 15 million. 5 million health on Battle 5, but I have a feeling that his defenses are just going to be insane, or, or his health restore something is going to be insane. There's only 5 million health, that's pretty low comparatively speaking. But again, level 5000, it goes to the uh, Spirit Bomb Absorbed Goku next, I think, right? That's not the LF one, the LF one's coming up next. Yep, he's next here. So he's got 10 million health, the LF Goku's next from the Namek Saga. I don't... This I don't know how accurate this is right here, inserting this movie's one right here, but whatever, they did that. Then the Majin Buu Saga next, again, 12.5 million health. You got 6 million health. This is accurate. I don't know, some of these ones with 20 million health up here. That's kind of crazy if Kaioken Goku's got 20 million health. Anyway, you guys, again, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Kaioken, and then the GT Kid Goku is last. So following that progression right there, 
It's obviously going to be a little bit tedious because those 10 battles are essentially going to be 20 if you want to get all the challenges done. But it is what it is, you guys. If there's Chrono Crystals, it's free content, and there's no reason to not do it unless your account is new and you're not able to. Then that might be a problem. I might be able to do some guide work for that, similar to my last Challenge Rush video as well, if you guys are in need of that information or just want to hear it as well. So, moving on to the last bit here before we wrap everything up. The Goku Everyday Banner itself. Of course, I've just got these tickets right here, very similar to the last time this was featured. So I don't know if there's going to be Chrono Crystal summons on this or not, but it's likely that there may not be, because the step-ups for the Super Saiyan 4s are still going to be up also. So that's actually not bad. And remember, we still might be expecting an Ultra Space Time banner summon coming sometime soon. But this banner here, at face value, is actually quite good if you're lucky. So as you can see, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, brand new, extremely high value. Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku's high value. This one right here, high value, the non-Kaioken Super Saiyan God Blue. This one's a stinker. This one's kind of a stinker unless you need him for your bench. Uh, Zenkai Goku, I guess, is, is a fine pull now unless you already have him at 14 stars, and that's kind of whack too. And this guy was never really that great either, but he's good too. Very good against androids, very good defensively, and high power nuke ult arts. So, very high value banner, and even this EX unit right here, some of the EX units aren't bad also. And some of these other bad Gokus, like, ugh, this one right here is going to be troll. But, of course, pretty much every Goku in the game for the most part, except for the LF Namek Goku. He is the only one that I don't see at glance on this list, correct me if I'm wrong. But, this banner is also set up, if you zoom in here and see, I mean, you guys can't, but Goku 600. The Sparkings, the Heroes, the EXs all have a chance to drop at 600, they all have a chance to drop at 250, and they all have a chance to drop at 100. It's basically exactly like the last time we saw this Everyday Goku. So I do wish each and every one of you guys the best of luck on this banner because you're probably going to need it. But even if you don't have the character and you get 100 of them that'll unlock it, that's better than nothing for free. I mean, again, we really can't complain about free stuff, you guys. So. I don't know if, if there is CC available, I probably would not invest it on this banner, you guys, but it seems like right now there may only be tickets. I don't know if for that is a fact or not yet, but that's pretty much it. Outside of that, again, I did record that other video before I recorded this one, but expect that one coming soon after this video, because I want to get this information out first. I do appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you do enjoy the information, consider leaving a thumbs up on it, help spread it out on YouTube. Other than that, if you guys are new around here, consider subscribing. I would love to see you again on future uploads. I do hope you all have a great evening, and I'll be talking to you again very soon. Peace out.